Hello Capricorns and happy birthday. It is the Sun Sage doing your January reading to take a look at the energies for the month of January for you to see what will be going on. All right. So Capricorn placement, Sun, Moon, Venus rising. Um, also, if you're a cross watcher, this may resonate um, for you as well. If you're dealing with a Capricorn or will be, um, this may have some resonance for you. Okay. I'm dropping stuff already, but happy new year. At the time of this reading, uh, you may see this in the new year. So I just want to get that out there. Happy birthday. Happy new year to you guys. Okay. So Capricorns, let's take a look at two themes for you in January and then we'll go to the tarot. All right. So what do we have for Capricorns for the month of January? All right. Friendship. Free spirit. Okay. Your friendship circle could change in January. <laughs> um, it feels like you may be different, you know, a little more different than you realize from people that you have been connected to. Um, you could be outgrowing a friendship. In January, you may come to the realization that you and a friend or a friendship circle are no longer on the same page. And so a big message for you guys um, in January looks to be that something could be changing about your friendship circle. I feel like you actually are going to to encounter new individuals, people who you could be more yourself around, okay, free spirit. Uh, it could be one person in particular that you meet and this person is just like fun, outgoing. They embrace you for who you are. This person, you know, encourages you to be yourself. So there's some, um, there's some good news I feel about friendships. Now let's see what the tarot has to say um, for your month of January overall. All right, so 10 of Pentacles. All right, what do we have for Capricorns in the month of January? Thank you so much. Okay, Eight of Wands. Eight of Swords. All right, Queen of Cups in the reverse. Two of Pentacles. And there's the Three of Cups. Okay, so there is an emphasis on your friendship circle in January. I feel like you're getting new friends. Um, that feels to be a strong message. But looking at this Three of Swords behind it, let's see. Um, I'm just getting a strong energy. You guys may fall out with a friend. Just be mindful of that. If you're dealing with like a water sign friend, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, or an air sign friend, there is a possibility you could fall out with them. Um, Libra, uh, Aquarius, Gemini. It doesn't even really come through how this happens. So it could be in the works now, right? You may be seeing someone with a different lens. Um, but I, I just feel like January, you're going to make a decision about someone. And I do feel like you're going to move forward and, and start to expand your horizons when it comes to who you socialize with, who you, who, who you give your energy to. All right. Um, this is mainly about your friends. This is mainly about those who you um, have grown up with, those who you have been with as, as friends and companions for years. These relationships are about to change, okay? So the Three of Cups is also a sign of a reunion. I do pick up here where there could be some sort of like trip or planning that could be delayed. Um, I feel like you're trying to reunite with somebody. Uh, you could have a family member here. We got a Queen of Cups in the reverse. So there could be some issues with this family member, maybe mental or emotional issues. If you if if this is not something you will be experiencing yourself, like just some sort of like mental health or emotional breakdown, it could be someone close to you. So let's go ahead and clarify. All right, let's see why we have the Ten of Pentacles here. Your family is expanding. Um, somebody could, so, um, if somebody in your family is having a baby or will have their child in January, they could be going through some depression. Okay. Uh, postpartum depression, it, it looks, and you're going to be uh, there to help them, but somebody is very unpredictable in January and it feels like it's due to a mental health or an emotional breakdown. All right, what's the Ten of Pentacles about? The Eight of Wands, again. So the Eight of Wands is beside the Ten of Pentacles and clarifying it. So this is uh, something uh, swiftly changing about your family dynamic. It doesn't feel bad. It just feels like you're undergoing changes in, in your circle, uh, your friendship circle, your family circle. What's the Eight of Wands here? 
Uh, we got the Knight of Cups in the reverse. Another cups energy in the reverse. That's some emotional instability. This could be why things are changing. You're realizing that somebody is not emotionally stable. Um, somebody could be going through a bad breakup in January and the way that they're handling it just feels immature. This does not feel like you. So this could be somebody around you and this could be why you're reevaluating. It's almost like you're trying to advise somebody close to you, like give them relationship advice or something, and they're not listening. And, um, you know, the more you communicate with them, the more they make bad decisions. And so you just release it. The Knight of Cups in the reverse, though, feels like um, some type of communication from somebody that is not emotionally mature. There's a very like heavily flirtatious person, like somebody's overcompensating, flirting with people and hooking up with people to, to try to be happy. Like somebody is not, what is this? Who is this Knight of Cups in the reverse for Capricorn? It doesn't feel like you. I'm telling you, it's a water sign in your life, the moon. It, it could be somebody you're separating from, somebody who was a part of your family or who you looked at having a future with. You may be separating from this person or going quiet on them in the month of January. It just feels very strongly like maybe your family doesn't like them. I got the 10 of pentacles again. So your stability isn't changing, but somebody's like connection to you could be in question in January. You're not sure if you still want to deal with somebody. Could be a Pisces, very strongly Pisces energy coming through. But this person feels emotionally unstable. They actually feel like they're sick or they have something going on with them and you're not, they're not telling you about it. And in January, this, this like, it, it reaches some sort of like climax and, and there is some sort of separation from this individual. So, Eight of Wands, you could move the Emperor here. You could move. There's a Capricorn here that may move closer to their father or a father figure who is sick. Um, there's energies here. It could be even be an uncle. Um, but I feel like you, you have movement on the brain, Six of Pentacles. I feel like you have enough money to do it too. You're also receiving some type of help for moving or travel. Aries may be important with that. Somebody's helping you move. Let's see what the Eight of Swords is saying for Capricorns in January. Thank you. The Nine of Cups. Somebody's caught up in their head about you, the devil. I think somebody is not handling a separation from you. And this may not even be recent. This could just be something where they're triggered and it all of a sudden hits them. They don't have you in their life anymore because I feel like somebody, you were somebody's wish fulfillment here and they don't have you. And they're kind of tripping over this. What's the nine of cups? Mm, page of swords and the tower. It looks like you're moving on. They see this and it's blowing their mind. I feel like this person wanted to fight for um, some sort of relationship or, or or connection with you, whether it's a friend or a, ro a romantic partner, but it's looking like um, their wish fulfillment is no longer accessible to them. And that would be you. They don't have access to you anymore. And it, and it feels like they're, you know, going a little bit crazy here. What's the Six of Pentacles with this Emperor? I feel like you've moved on or you're moving on in January. There could be somebody you're already dealing with. Okay, Two of Swords is in the reverse. So you've made a decision about what you want. Seven of Cups, I feel in January, whatever options are available to you, you choose something. And it looks like you choose someone, you choose to relocate. I feel like you're making big life decisions. You have clarity in January when it comes to individuals in your life and you're moving towards your happiness. Um, and I feel like somebody misses out. OK, I feel like they see you content, happy, getting like your dreams coming true. 
This could be a past person, like a real past person, like an ex. You're like, why are they showing up in the reading? Something triggered them. And it feels like it's you seeing you online, seeing you be successful. Queen of Cups in the reverse here. There could also be a friend of yours giving this person information about you. That could be why you're questioning um, a friend in, in January. Like somebody could be feeding them information about you and your new life. Queen of Cups, again, Queen of Cups, clarifying the Queen of Cups in the reverse. And then there's the Eight of Cups, very strong Pisces in this reading. Um, yeah, I think you've left someone already, maybe even like eight years ago, eight months ago, something like that. And this person is having some sort of emotional break breakdown because they've lost you. They actually put you through a lot is what it's, it looks like. This person put you through a lot. You were very vulnerable with this individual Capricorn. You gave them your heart. You trusted them. You may have even fought over them at some point. Okay. And they walked away from you or they could have chosen someone else over you. And the energy is some sort of payback is happening, but not intentionally. You're just moving on. And, and like, yeah, the eight of pentacles, you found yourself. Somebody is emotionally unstable more and more as they see you move into a new life of success, financial abundance here. But I feel like the pain this person put you through was a big motivator to becoming successful. What is this um, Eight of Pentacles? They could have definitely been a water sign, Scorpio, Pisces, very strongly also Cancer, Knight of Swords. Yeah, they were a big motivator. Um, to get you out there to do what was best for you, the five of swords. I also feel like the reason, again, why you're reevaluating a friendship circle, it does look like um, somebody's like sharing information about your life to somebody. It could even be somebody sending, it could be a mutual friend or somebody you, you trust and you're not expecting to like give out information about your life, but they may not feel like they're doing that if it's a public social media page and they're they're like hey i just wanted to show you what capricorn is up to but they're showing it to your ex or something so there is some sort of betrayal maybe it's an air sign friend libra gemini aquarius but i do feel like word of your success is getting around and it's reaching i feel someone and people who lost out on you five of swords who betrayed you at some point, who hurt you at some point, who lied to you, deceived you. So the three of pen, I mean, I'm sorry, the two of pentacles here, your friendship circle is a, is the highlight. There's something going on with your friendship circle and um, you're, you're an ex or something. Those are connected in January, okay? What's the two of pentacles? Um, It's the six, I'm sorry, the seven of wands. Mm. So someone looks like they may try to reach out to you, come back to you. Um, this person may say they had a change of heart. It doesn't look like you're falling for it, but I feel like a lot of you, yeah, four of wands, I feel like a lot of you are going to be tested by this person. They may show up at your home. Some of you are trying to keep this person away from you or from knowing your information or your business anyway there's the, there you are the queen of pentacles yep you have a new home i feel like some of you are moving relocating um you have plans to do it at the very least as you're trying to protect your your information um there's a little bit of something coming through about somebody getting um when that you're moving somebody that you don't want to know about it with the nine of wands so uh, like beefing up your security is something that comes through nine of wands, seven of wands, four of wands. This is the protector of a home, the head of a household here. Uh, you're very successful. It's getting out that you may have like a lot of expensive things in your home, you know, things like that. And that five of swords did show up. So you just want to be careful who you're sharing. Oh, I got new jewelry. I got new this because I do feel the energy of um, somebody in heavy contemplation over you know, a way to kind of like um, 
disrupt your your peace here. Let's see. Yeah, there's somebody here you're moving away from, like completely. There's like no backtracking on this. There's 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 no turning back on this. And I feel like um they may make sort of a last stand, a one last effort to to come back and see your life, but you are um looking like you're closing that cycle out if you haven't already, okay? So Capricorns, that is what I have for you. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Don't forget to hit that like, subscribe. Let me know what you think. If you are interested in booking a personal reading with me, check out the details in the description box.